Hi. So this is the video recording for our reading class for today. And what we'd like to do is swing back around to some things we talked about earlier in the semester, since we have um, students in class who weren't here at the beginning of the, the semester. Um, the thing I want to talk about today is reading level. What do we mean by reading level? So, you know, a lot of times when we talk about reading level, we talk about grade level, like the third grade level. This person reads at the fourth grade level. This person reads at the ninth grade level. And sometimes we use that terminology, but uh, reading level is not really anything to do with age or intelligence or anything other than uh, one thing. The one thing that determines our reading level, the level at which we read, is how many hours in our lives we have spent reading, uh, being what, in what I call the zone when we read. Um, what I mean by the zone is, is this. You know, when we're doing anything that we are engaged in, that we're interested in, that we're really involved in, we kind of disappear into that thing. We kind of sink into it, and we're not so aware of the immediate reality around us. We're kind of somewhere else. Think about when we watch a movie um, that we like. At the beginning of the movie, we're sitting there on the couch or in the movie theater, and we're there in the seat. We're there in that room or in that theater. And then as the movie begins to... Um, go on, we get pulled in to the story of the movie. We get sort of involved in that other world. And we're not as aware of this couch that we're on or this seat that we're sitting in in the movie theater. We're there in that other world. And the thinking that we do and the things, the reactions that our brain makes are different than when we're sitting here in on this seat or in this world. We're in somewhere else. We're, we've disappeared into the story. This doesn't just happen when we're watching a movie. It happens when we do anything that we're really engaged in, that we're really involved in. If we're playing basketball, for example, and we're really involved, really engaged in that game, we're not really aware of what's going on around us off the court. We're really sunk into that game. And that's the reality that we're in. If we're very involved in a conversation that we're having with somebody, we are very intently engaged in the conversation, focusing on it, not really aware of what's going on around us so much, but really engaged in the world of that conversation. Uh, this happens when we read, too. But because there are so many things for us to do with our time, in the modern world, unlike a couple hundred years ago, uh, before we had television and radio and um, recorded music and uh, video games and computers. Um, there are so many choices that we have today in how to spend our time that for many, many people, we don't spend as many hours of our lives in that zone with a book, in a book, right? But that's what determines our reading level. The number of hours that we have spent in our lives in the zone, in that zone, with a book. If we've spent many hours in our lives in the zone with a book, our reading level is high. If we have not spent many, many hours in our lives in that zone, in a book, our reading level is lower. Uh, if our reading level is lower, there's a very simple solution. We need to somehow increase the number of hours that we spend in the zone with a book. Now, for a lot of us, reading uh, is a wonderful thing that we love to do. We already know about being in the zone with a book. It's something that we do when we have time or even maybe a lot of the time in our lives. But for many, many different reasons, many of us have not spent many hours in the zone with a book. 
Maybe when we were in first grade, we had a very disruptive uh, year. We moved around. We didn't have any kind of consistency in our, in our learning situation. And so we didn't necessarily make the connections that we um, might have made with reading when we were six or seven years old. Um, uh, all kinds of things could have happened. Maybe we were sick a lot that year. Maybe we had a horrible teacher that year that we really hated or we were scared of or we didn't want to be there in, in that schoolroom doing that thing, learning how to read. Uh, so we didn't make a connection with reading. Or, you know, in the years that followed, maybe for, for various reasons, we didn't have our own quiet place to read or um, uh, we didn't have access to lots and lots of different books or there weren't people around us that were readers that modeled that for us or read to us uh, because, you know, maybe our parents were very, very busy doing other things, keeping a roof over our head and making sure we were fed, right? So um, for lots of reasons, we might not have spent many, many hours in our lives in that zone. But uh, now, here we are. We want, we're here because we're trying to raise our reading skills so that we can read at a certain level to take the GED or the high set. And we want to do the things that are necessary to raise our reading level high enough so that we can manage the test well. Now the passages on the GED or the high set are written and the questions are written at level 9 or 10 or sometimes even 11. But right now, most of us, according to our diagnostic test that we took when we first enrolled in the program here, um, are, we're reading at level four or five or six or seven. So we want to do the things that we need to to raise our reading level up to the level of the test. Now, most reading that we do as adults for pleasure or for fun is not written at level 9 or 10 or 11. What's written at those levels are college textbooks or professional papers of some kind or maybe legal documents or contracts are written at level 10, 11, 12. Most of the things that are written for um, adults who are readers to read for entertainment or for pleasure are written at level 5 or 6 or 7. That's just the way it is. And we don't have to read things at level 9 or 10 or 11 to raise our reading level up that high. In fact, that's not the way to raise our reading level. The way to raise our reading level is to find books that we really, in, what, that we will really enjoy that are at a level that is comfortable for us to read so that we can spend as many hours as possible in that zone. So the trick is to find books that are at the right level, that are books that we like, and then try to spend our time reading more and more and more. Um, now, one of the things that I want to show you about reading level is how reading level is determined. Because remember, it's not about how old we are. It's not about how smart we are. It's simply about the number of hours that we spend reading. But what is it that we mean by reading level? Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to end this part of the video. I'm going to start another one in a minute. All right, thanks.